Hello everyone, Dan Hurd with Dan Hurd Prospecting here. Welcome to my channel. I came up this spring to check out the blue chip mine. I plan to do a whole lot of work here this spring. So I was just taking sort of a bit of a, a look-see and see what it looks like. Unfortunately, I wasn't expecting quite this much snow. So I am not going to be able to drive into the claim today. Might be able to, but I don't want to risk it. I'm walking in instead. We're gonna see what's see what's here, see what was left, see what it all looks like. Here we go. Enjoy. I brought the gold bug too with me today. Hopefully, see if I can uh, swing it over some gold. Although, you know, with that much snow, I don't know what I'd be swinging over. We'll see what it looks like when I get to the mine. I see the asbestos bags are still here. I will, since I have time, I'm not going to be able to do much work today. I will go and report those. See if, uh, see if the authorities know that someone was dumping industrial waste up here. And hopefully get someone to come up and deal with it. Asbestos bags. Contents contain asbestos. Lovely. So the signs are looking good. I've got about 10 signs, I'll oh, probably six signs, six to 10 signs to put up around the claim that says absolutely no prospecting allowed. It gives examples, rock collecting, sampling, high banking, all those kind of things. And I have put up, well, I'm in the process of putting up three trail cams uh, in the area. And I stopped by uh, the RCMP on the way in here just to ask them if I ever want to charge, you know, people with stealing from my mine, claim jumping, what evidence would I need? They were very happy with what I have with the signage and the cameras. So uh, I should be all good for that. Uh, not easy putting these signs up today. They're kind of, you know, up in the snow. But I will put them all up, get all the cameras in place and hopefully keep this place secure for, your, for the future. And if there's any more, you know, litterers coming up here, I should get them too. The mess down there doesn't look nearly as bad from up here when it's covered in snow. Well, it looks like someone wanted that big barrel that was here. The barrel's missing. Thank goodness I didn't want that barrel. I had no use for it. Someone else wanted it. Just one less thing I have to deal with. But there's still a big mess out there. Third sign up. Almost at the mine. I am now here at the mine and I found something I'm now here at the mine, and I found something just amazing. Amazingly awesome. Awesomely amazing. Let's show you. Stalagmites of ice at the blue chip mine. Stalagmites of ice in the cave in the mine shaft. That is so cool. So, so cool. I don't know if I can get enough footage of this today. I'm gonna be here for hours just taking shots of these things. That is amazing. Look at those. Ooh. 
stalagmites of ice. Look at that one back there. How tall and skinny it is. Oh, I'm glad I decided to walk into the snow today. Because by next week, these will all be gone. Ooh, I gotta take out the pumps so I can put some on Instagram. <laughs> this is awesome. This is out here. I wonder what's inside. Here at the upper at it, looks like Mother Nature's been hard at work throwing uh, branches from above down on me. Must be a good windstorm here or something. But there's the upper at it. I'll take a shot inside. There's more ice stalactites in there, stalagmites in there. But just looking around, finding a good spot for my last couple signs. I found this laying on the ground up here. Big old chisel, big drill bit. Chisel, not sure which. Back from when they were actually mining this area. It's heavy. So I have all my signs and all my cameras in place now. Hopefully no one else will mess with the mine. I think I'm going to go back to that first adit and take some more shots of those icicles. Maybe even go inside. Oh, let's go inside this one and have a look at it, too. There's some icicles, reverse icicles in here, too. Looking inside the upper adit here. See some more of those ice crystals. Iced slag mites. Inside, but go inside for a few minutes here.
I'm never all that comfortable inside an old attic, so I don't like staying in very long. But anyhow, that was a little tour inside the upper attic. Let's go to the lower attic where all those really cool ice crystals were. So my plan today was to swing the metal detector around a little bit in some of the places that I really want to see if there's good gold. But unfortunately, the ground is just frozen too hard. I swung it for a bit there, got some great signals, but it was on top of sort of a mud that was frozen. And it was just, there was nothing I could do. I have to wait for this place to thaw out before I can do that. So instead, I might just go and poke my head inside here and check out these crystals a bit more. Crystals, stalagmites of ice. Because they are really cool. See if I can get through them without knocking any over. They are from the other side. I have a feeling there's no more deeper in. It probably stays warm enough inside here not to freeze like that. So all I see is water from here on back. These are really cool. Now I planned on today swinging that uh, metal detector around a bit, and I didn't. Well, I did. Uh, I walked into the first attic and uh, checked out a bunch of the quartz seams, and I found signals everywhere, and some really good ones too. But I don't have my sample bags or the right tools with me today because I had to walk in. So I think I'm gonna come back tomorrow with the right equipment and all the sample bags and everything I need, and go and take a few of those uh, signals that the gold bug 2 is telling me are in the wall and uh, take them back and crush them and see if those signals equate to gold. Now I'm just walking out right now. Uh, I've got all my signs set, all my cameras are set. In fact, I've got, it's kind of funny, at the, at the well, I'm not gonna say where. It's kind of funny, at one spot I've got two cameras roughly in the same area uh, looking at each other. So one for your front and one for your back. Hopefully no one ever gets caught on those cameras stealing, stealing, claim jumping. Uh, hopefully they're not needed in the future. The signs will hopefully deter people enough. Before I go, very special thanks to my patrons out there for supporting me in my endeavors. Because of you, I can do these videos for all of YouTube to watch. If you'd like to learn more, go to patreon.com slash danherd. Thanks all for watching. Please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and if you subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get notifications. Until the next video, everyone. Bye.